<laughs> we have to know a lot of stuff. I really need to understand all of this. I'm gonna conquer the brain, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> if we're being realistic. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog. If you're new around here, hello. My name is Tay. I'm a first year medical student at UCLA documenting this journey to the MD. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and follow me along on this journey. So we're in block five. For those of you who are new, block five is our last block of our first year of medical school and it's medical neuroscience and it's a lot, it's a lot. I'm not a neuroscientist, but I'm working on it and I'm really gonna try to make this my best block yet. Bold claims, but I'm gonna try. So I am up early today because it is time for PBL. I'm actually sitting in PBL. It's about seven minutes after it's supposed to start and I don't see my instructor coming in and no one's turning the video on. So I think I'm gonna turn my video on and be that person because my instructor's a little tough, this block, and I don't wanna get yelled at, so. Maybe I'll try to get us started, but I'm gonna make some tea. I have a little bagel here and we're gonna have a great start to this week. Mark my words. So, let's do PBL. I don't know anything about our case today. Look it up in Harrison's, type up a slide, but they never take it there. See, I don't have time. You do, because it's cool. And if you can take it there, you think it. And it doesn't matter if you're wrong. It really doesn't. What matters is that you, that you think. I'll see you Friday. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a little taste of my PBL instructor so that you get the vibe when I'm saying that it's that type of learning environment. It puts me on edge, but I'm thankful for it because I feel like I'm growing. So PBL is over. I have some time before, what do I have going on today? I don't think I have anything going on today. I think today's pretty chill with lectures. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a break from school for a second, edit a video for Instagram to get that workout up, and then study until my workout at 4 p.m. So we have a nice clear day. I have been mainly using physio to learn the brain. So if you watched my previous vlog from last week, you will have seen me watching a lot of physio videos. I think that gave me a really good baseline understanding of what's going on. I now need to go and watch all of my lectures that I haven't watched. So. Hopefully that'll move faster and I'll have a better understanding and things will come faster into my brain. <sighs> Cause I need all the help I can get. So we're gonna take a quick break and then we'll come right back here to this beautiful desk chair and keep working. We got this, let's have an amazing Monday y'all. Let's do it. All right, before we get into studying, I want to let y'all know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is so awesome. And if you don't know about them, let me tell you, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. It's a place where you can explore new skills, deepen passions, and just get lost in creativity. They have classes from photography to illustration to iPad drawing. And because it's a learning platform, there's also no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. I'm personally taking an iPad illustration class by Robert Jenneret III, and let me just tell y'all, this has leveled up my iPad illustration game. You'll see in the next montage what my notes look like now. It has stepped the game up and it is all due to this class. So if you wanna give Skillshare a try, they were so kind to give us a special link, which I'll put in the description. And the first 1,000 people to click this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click that link in the description and let me know if you have any questions. All right, let's get into studying.
right, so I just finished writing some notes out on the spinal cord. Oh, I miss writing notes on the iPad. So now it is about time for my live workout class. So I'm gonna get dressed and ready to sweat. It'll be a nice change in pace from sitting here all day. And then we'll get right back at it though. Right back at it. I really need to understand all of this. It's gonna be fine. Everything will be great, so. See y'all when the workout class is over and I'm all showered and ready to sit back down. Let's get it done. It's about 10:13 p.m. and pretty much today I just went through lecture notes and tried to make my own notes to try to make sense of everything that's happening. I am working through the spinal cord and there's a lot more in the spinal cord than one would think. So I'm trying to decipher it. Everything has a name and it's killing me. It's killing me. So I will flip around the camera so you can see the notes I made today. Boom, boom. This is what I meant when I said everything has a name. Like every single part of the spinal cord. So now that I am done with that, it is time to go to sleep because I am going to get up super early tomorrow to go to the gym before clinic. I have clinic at nine in palliative care and I would like to get in a workout beforehand and film something for Instagram beforehand. Beforehand. Bef beforehand. That's, that's where my brain is at. That's where my brain is at. So I'm gonna get up at six something, which means I need to go to sleep now. So I will see y'all tomorrow and hopefully we'll have a full day after I get back from clinic of studying. I will have already worked out. There will be no excuses. So if I'm not parked here tomorrow afternoon, then there's something wrong with me. So I think this was a pretty good Monday, but let's hope Tuesday is even better. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good morning, y'all. It is 8.20 in the morning. I've been up since 6.00. 30 this morning because I went to the gym and if I'm being honest it was a terrible workout I should have slept <laughs> but I'm glad it's out of the way I'm glad I got up and I got moving so now I have about 10 minutes before I need to leave for my clinical rotation in palliative care I'm gonna spend three hours hanging out on the team seeing some patients I'm excited about that I'm just disappointed my workout wasn't very good but you know what you can't win them all some days it's not the best workout and it is what it is. I'm proud of myself for actually getting up. I'm not a morning bird. No, no, no. I will not be getting the worm, okay? I sleep in. So I'm proud of myself for being awake and hopefully I can just clear the rest of my afternoon and study right there. So let's get dressed for clinic and head out. All right, I am dressed and ready to go. I'm wearing my same business shirt that I wear every time I need to go to clinic because I only got one shirt. I got my white coat. Student doctor, student doctor. So I am shifting my mindset because I was feeling not so good this morning after that bad workout, but I'm not gonna let that make me have a bad day. Today is still gonna be great. Setting that to the side and going to try to have a great day in clinic and be happy and excited to learn. So let's head over, let's go, let's go. I think this is my last clinical experience of the year. So I'm excited. Okay, okay, bye.
got back in the car from clinic. It is about 12, 18 p.m. It was a wonderful day today. I am so, so, I'm just so blessed to be here and to get to see patients and learn from incredibly kind teachers. So it was a wonderful day in clinic. We saw a lot of patients, like six patients, most of whom were transitioning toward the end of life. And so discussing those options with them, how we can keep them comfortable, how we can manage their pain, things like that. They're super important, you know, when, when that type of thing is happening to you. I saw some patients that were really close to death, which was, I mean, I've seen it before, but each time it's it's a lot. So I'm just feeling very grateful to be here and to get to study medicine to hopefully help save some lives. I wanted to show you this form that I picked up that we use. It's called a pulsed form. It stands for Physician Orders for Life Sustaining Treatment. And the pulsed form is used to make sure that the patient's wishes are being honored when it comes to their treatment. So here's a close up of the pulsed form. You can see there's a section for cardiopulmonary resuscitation if the patient would like to note whether they would like resuscitation or not. Medical interventions this is just a general overview of if they want full treatment, selective treatment, comfort focused treatment. This is so that if the patient is found without a pulse or if they're not breathing, that the care team knows how much intervention is needed. And then you have artificially administered nutrition if the patient would like a feeding tube if needed or if they would like to decline that and then all the places for signatures down below. So this is the pulsed form. But yeah, it's something that we used with some of our patients today and I got a copy, so I figured it would be cool to show y'all. But yeah, I am free for the rest of the day. I've worked out, I've gone to clinic. That's it for today. So I'm gonna go home and study. I'm feeling renewed sense of energy after seeing patients. This always happens. It reminds me why I'm doing all of this book studying because I want to help people and make sure that I'm making an impact in their care. So I'm gonna head home, maybe get something to eat, maybe take a quick break, and then we're hitting those books, baby. Me, the brain, I will conquer it. <sighs> All right, let's go. some TV and then I just sat here and worked on my iPad so working through all of the pathways in the spinal cord sensory motor pathways we have to know <laughs> we have to know a lot of stuff um, here's me trying to make sense of it let's see if you can see on my iPad so now I'm gonna head to sleep. Tomorrow I have clinical skills. Um, so we're gonna go in person and learn how to do a neuro exam, which I'm pretty excited about. I say that all the time, but I'm actually excited about it. I haven't been in person in a while. And um, clinical skills is fun. And I think it's gonna be important. And then we gotta knock out PBL tomorrow. So lots of stuff. But for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep because I've been up since 6.30 in the morning and it's now 1.30 in the morning. So you do the math, because my brain's too slow right now, but I believe that means I've been up for too long. So let's go to sleep, be well rested so we can conquer the day tomorrow. Let's do this team. Okay, good night.
I am headed out to clinical skills. I slept in today because I was up early yesterday and got, I don't know how I was still running, but we are headed into in-person class. We're gonna learn how to do a cranial nerves clinical skill exam. So testing all 12 of the cranial nerves to make sure that our patient um, doesn't have any neurological problems. Nothing's interrupting those nerves. So. We're gonna practice on each other. There's about three of us in a group. Masks, face shields, all of that are required. So I'm headed there now. It's gonna be about two hours long. Then I'm gonna sprint home, do my live workout class at four, and then I need to clean my entire house because Austin's mom is coming to visit for Mother's Day weekend. And that means my house has to be spotless. So that's the plan for today. I do have a midterm on Monday, so I'm also trying to study really hard for that. I'd love to make some more iPad notes, but honestly, I don't think that's gonna happen just because of all the cleaning I'm gonna have to do. So, I will catch y'all on the flip side. Let's go learn this exam. Just got out of clinical skills, it was awesome. I learned a ton and I'm looking forward to going home and studying it. We do have a clinical skills portion of our final exam, so I do need to know all that we just learned. Um, but now I'm gonna head home, prep for my live workout class, get to sweating and then clean and study. Hopefully I can study, but we'll see. So catch y'all on the flip side. Okay, bye. last week I am actually done at 1 a.m. on the dot would you look at that that's redemption that is redemption because last week I really thought I'd be done at 1 a.m. starting at 12 and that didn't happen so I am turning in my PBL let me show you what it looks like there she is boom I got gifs and everything baby boom make it bigger yeah Boom. And then my differential diagnosis. I think it's multiple sclerosis. We will see. So that gets turned in. Turned in. Lord, please help me. So I'm turning that in and now I'm just gonna finish up cleaning and then we're gonna head to sleep for a nice day tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get some more studying done tomorrow. Um, but I'm just glad that PBL is done. So I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Okay. Bye. What is up y'all? Happy Thursday. Oh, I just dropped my face shield. That's the type of day it is today. Hello. I am headed to in-person class for Neuroanatomy Lab. We are dissecting the cerebellum today. I am right on time. It's 12.58. Oh, my lab starts at 1. Um, I was up all night cleaning, didn't get much studying done. Glad I turned in PBL, I mean I had no choice. But yeah, so I'll catch you when I'm out of lab. Okay, bye. Okay, the house is clean. Look at this, so fresh, so clean. So now it's time to sit down and study. I got some Chipotle, so I'm gonna eat and study till I can't study no more. Um, I need to look over stuff for the eye because 
I think that's what we're learning this week and review some stuff about the cerebellum. But anatomy lab was good. We dissected the cerebellum. It was super quick, which was nice. So let's sit down and have a productive night. some videos on the eyes and the visual system because that's what our case is on and I want to make sure I understood it and that's what we are learning this week so that's what you saw me doing last night so now it's time for PBL I need to present my learning issue on internuclear ophthalmoplegia which I actually understand better now which is good so that's what we're gonna do and then study literally all day because we have a midterm in like three days and I still feel like I know nothing so Let's rock it, let's do it. So a quick overview of internuclear ophthalmoplegia or INO. It is a gaze abnormality that is characterized by two things. First is weak or slow adduction of the affected eye. So you can see in this GIF, the patient's eye is not able to fully adduct to the midline. I just wanna say y'all, I crushed my PBL. I crushed it, I crushed it, I crushed it. I crushed my presentation and I am really proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. My PBL instructor said something that actually really stuck with me. He said, don't be afraid to be wrong, which I feel like I know that, but I feel like I really needed to hear that because I am someone who likes to always have everything figured out and doesn't like to make mistakes, doesn't like to fail, doesn't like to be wrong. And you can't be that way in medicine because so much is unknown and it takes thinking and you have to think outside the box and you have to take that chance um to make that diagnosis and if that means being wrong sometimes that's how you're gonna learn the most and he said that and i was like wow you're right i was like you're right sir so i think i need i think i am playing a little safe when it comes to pbl and i think today was the first day i really stepped out of my comfort zone i made a claim about what i thought the patient had and gave my reasons why i made a claim about what i thought the patient didn't have and stated my reasons why so that was really uncomfortable for me making a bold claim because again what if i am wrong but definitely worth it so i'm gonna try to start being bold and putting myself out there more and not being afraid to be wrong not too bad so yeah now i'm going to edit an instagram post and then maybe hit the gym and study for the rest of the day we're off to a great start i'm feeling good let's go all right, I didn't end up going to the gym, but I did run some errands and I got some food. And now it's time to work for the rest of the night. The midterm is close and this is the first midterm other than the very first one we took block one that I'm actually nervous about. Cause me and Neuro were not, nope, nope. I'm changing how I'm feeling about it. I'm changing my mindset. I'm gonna conquer the brain, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> if we're being realistic, so. I don't have anything else to do today except for study. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna park myself right here and we are gonna go through as much as we can. I've watched pretty much all the videos that I think I need. There might be one or two more that I might watch on just the information. And now it's a matter of studying the information, retaining it, making some notes about it and really engaging with the material, if you know what I mean. So let's eat my nice big sandwich I just made. Look at her. And then let's study, let's do this. We got this, the night is still young. It is about 2.50, so we got time. All right, let's do it team, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm.
All right, y'all, it is now Saturday. I didn't get to film a closing yesterday because Austin's mom is staying here and she was in the living room and I didn't want to disturb her at night since I was up late studying. But thank you for tuning in to another week in medical school. I hope you enjoyed. My midterm is on Monday, so I will see you in the next vlog and we will see how I do. Still super nervous about it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. So hopefully by the time the final runs around, we will conquer the brain, okay? So keep on studying, keep on grinding, whatever you're doing, keep working, do not give up. You got this and I'll see you next time. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.